Alright y'all, so last time that I covered a uh, comic battle from Rob Jefferson, Comics Explained, it was a uh, hypothetical who would win, Thanos or Apocalypse. I mean, it ultimately came down, Thanos would beat Apocalypse, but there's a lot of factors involved that, you know, could sway it, but, um, he, Rob's come out with another one, um, this time, who would win, Batman or Spider-Man? Let's take a look at this and find out his, uh, his cross-examination. <laughs> versus Thanos was so well received by everyone, I figured we'd try another video, this time, focusing on Spider-Man and Batman. And so because the basis of this idea is to take two characters who have never met and pit them against one another, we're going to follow the same formula, focusing on various aspects of these characters, asking, at the end of the video, who would come out on top? So starting with Spider-Man, his same physical Spider strength is pretty straightforward here in that he possesses the standard run of abilities, including the strength to lift cars with little effort, and easily bend almost all metals, with the exception of vibranium and adamantium. Something to also note is that among most readers, it's largely agreed upon that whenever he engages in fights, Spider-Man likely pulls his punches against all but the most powerful enemies that he faces, due to the fact that he would likely kill some of the physically weaker enemies, like Mysterio or Dr. Octopus. Furthermore, Spider-Man's body is far tougher than a normal person able to withstand falls and impacts that would disable or kill a common person and his metabolism, is also greatly increased, allowing for a higher tolerance of drugs and accelerated healing. Now, focusing on his agility, Spider-Man possesses far superior agility than even a superpowered human like Captain America, and he's been able to dodge gunfire in point-blank range. As a result, the enemies he faces have a very difficult time hitting him, as he uses not only his superior speed and agility to his advantage, but also uses his web-slinging abilities and his extraordinary sense of balance, allowing him to fight at unusual angles. Focusing on his intelligence, and probably the most important part of his character in relation to Batman, while he's not as smart as Reed Richards, Dr. Doom, or Amadeus Cho, Spider-Man is a genius-level intellect, being one of the tops in his field, regarding chemistry, biology, physics, and engineering. In addition to this, he's also an inventor of great skill, developing the web shooters that he's well known for, and showing an ability to use his inventing skills to overcome enemies when his physical prowess can't do the job. Regarding his fighting powers, Spider-Man has an ability to sense danger and combined with his enhanced agility, strength, and durability makes him a powerful and dangerous foe. However, despite these abilities, when going against someone like Captain America, Peter was shown to be completely outmatched, although it is believed that this is due more to Captain America's vast experience fighting in World War II, along with fighting alongside the Avengers after his revival. However, one of the most powerful tools is his joking manner, which is explained explicitly to be due to his desire to throw his enemies off kilter, but also keep his mind focused during the heat of combat. Now the weaknesses of Spider-Man can be counted on one hand, but the significance of these weaknesses in question cannot be overlooked. Despite being incredibly durable, he's not immune to conventional weapons. In addition to this, his accelerated healing factor is not on par with Wolverine's, meaning that he can be damaged, can succumb to illnesses, and he's not immortal. Furthermore, villains like Venom have the ability to avoid his spider sense, making this weakness almost crippling, and that Spider-Man has to rely almost strictly on his wits and experience to overcome these foes. Now transitioning to Batman, where he doesn't have super strength like Spider-Man, he has conditioned himself to the peak of human ability. In addition to this, his drive and will to succeed makes him highly resistant to pain and mind control attempts, and his martial arts and training has allowed him to roll with hits that would kill normal human beings. However, his lack of strength and durability is offset by the fact that he uses a bad suit, which has been shown to deflect small caliber gunfire and some flame-based attacks. On the other hand, Batman also has peak level human agility and is a master of stealth, disguise, and escapology, meaning he can escape virtually any restraint and uses shadows for deception, in addition to occasionally using flashbangs to effectively confuse and disorient his enemies. Now focusing on his intellect, Batman has one of the sharpest minds in the DC Universe and is a highly skilled scientist and inventor. His extravagant wealth allows him access to cutting-edge technology, and his creativity allows him to be prepared for almost any situation that he may find himself in. 
Something to also note here is that he carries a utility belt that nearly always has what he needs to accomplish any task, and his strategies have allowed him to stay one step ahead of nearly every enemy. Now for his fighting prowess, Batman is absolutely formidable in that he's a master of nearly every martial art on Earth and is one of the best hand-to-hand -hand fighters in the comic book universe. Furthermore, Batman is aided in his hand-to-hand -hand prowess by access to enhancements through various gadgets if he needs it, and at times has used this gauntlet to shock his enemies, or in the case of the Dark Knight Returns, a powered suit to enhance his strength to superhuman levels. Now looking at his experience, Batman is one of the most experienced comic book characters ever, fighting not only every type of enemy imaginable on this planet, but sometimes others as well. His ability to use his mind and also exploit an enemy's weakness is legendary, and he's been able to defeat enemies much more powerful than himself. However, much like Spider-Man, Batman is not without his weaknesses. Even though he has trained himself to peak human levels, at the end of the day, he's still human, meaning that any attack that can pierce his armor can hurt him, incapacitate him, or possibly even kill him, as was the case during Nightfall when his back was broken by Bane. And so having said that, which of these characters would come out on top? Spider-Man. In truth, the answer to this question comes down to a number of factors. Would this fight take place on common ground? Would it be spontaneous, or would they have time to plan or strategize? Batman would if they Batman have time. be allowed to use his utility belt? From a purely physical standpoint, the advantage would have to go to Spider-Man with his enhanced strength, durability, and athletic prowess. However, because of his intelligence, Batman would likely find a way to take advantage of Spider-Man's vulnerabilities and cancel out his spidey sense, or even change the environment, such as forcing them to fight in water, which would neutralize Spider-Man's agility and speed advantage. And so ultimately, I actually have to side with Batman in this one due to the fact that despite his vulnerabilities, in the end, he's simply too smart and too experienced to be taken down by Peter Parker. With that being said, we're going to bring this video to an end, and let me know down in the comments section who do you think would win this fight, Batman or Spider-Man? And I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Alright. If it was just a straight fight, here's Spider-Man and all his gadgets, here's Batman and all his gadgets, Spider-Man would destroy Batman and Spider-Man is more willing to kill. Batman, on the other hand, if given any sort of foreknowledge, prep time, I mean, anything, Batman would absolutely absolutely take it. But if it was just a hey, here's Batman, here's Spider-Man. No. Now Batman's got no chance. None. Way of the Spider would beat everything Batman. You tell me what you thought. Comments below. Not you like that and uh, who did you think would come out on top? Um, Batman, Spider-Man. Tell me what you thought. Like, share, and subscribe and Catch you next time.